Welcome, my friends. So glad you could join me. My name is Wonka. Today, we're going to be playing The Crew 2. We're going to be getting into the last live extreme race today and our last discipline. A, little, a lot of lasts, but hopefully this isn't the last episode. If you don't want it to be, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. But without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy, and I think you will. Man, it's hard to talk over that lady sometimes when she starts talking during that little intro thing and whew, throws me off, throws me right off. So uh, welcome to the last, 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 hopefully not last episode. Um, we are going to be doing the last discipline, which you should already know is somewhere in here. I know normally I take you guys on the whole buying experience but I went and bought the Red Bull car on my own. It was faster than the other car. The other car is a proto car. I don't even think it's a real car. I think it's potentially just a Crew 2 car. Maybe not. I don't know. I've never seen it before. So I'm just speculating. But either way, here is here is the vehicle we're doing today. And it has visual part upgrades. We can change the uh, caliper that we can honestly hardly see in there. Hello? Yeah, it's caliper color only. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Are there any liveries for this thing besides the Red Bull one? Oh, we got the Ferrari car. That's pretty cool. A different Red Bull, Mercedes AMG, Pornhub. I mean, <clears throat> come on, load the designer. I got to out him. I got to out him for his love of porn. He's remaining hidden and anonymous behind and loading but that's cool. I'm glad you can actually take the uh, livery off and do SpongeBob if you so choose and prefer. I actually played VR Chat one time, and that's uh, that's what this car is, right? This is VR Chat. That's what this that's what these characters are from. They're from VR Chat. Oh, I just pissed off someone. Hmm. I kind of like the uh, the Ferrari one. Is that actually Ray Ban's logo? That's a terrible logo. If so, unless someone's just trying to copy, in which case. Ray-Ban, your logo's probably not that bad. This person just butchered it. Uh, do we want to drive the Ferrari car, though? I mean, you know what? We'll just drive the Pornhub car for 4000 I can, I can, I can get down with that. We'll do it. I, I like supporting people's... I'm not going to finish that sentence because I want to stay monetized. Do you think they could demonetize me for this? We're going to find out. We're going to test YouTube today and see see how much they hate Pornhub. I heard uh, there's some YouTubers that have gone to posting their non-porn videos on Pornhub for Pornhub revenue. Maybe that was a lie, but I swear I heard that. But anyway, let's take a seat in this thing and we can pretend that we're racers. Look at me. Crammed in with my nuts squished between my legs because my legs are so clamped together from the seat and lack of room in the pedal area. But look, oh, that's actually kind of cool. I didn't know you could do that. You could clip your wheel through the... All right, who designed that? It wasn't me. But um, that's cool. I didn't know I could actually turn my wheels and the car actually, like, moves a little bit. It's not just the wheels just magically turning. Video games have come a long way in the little things, you know? Oh, I probably could have started the engine in there. What am I doing? Start the engines. <laughs> Oh, oh, I probably broke something. That, that truck looks very majestic from this angle. The lighting is hitting it just right. Oh, we got a horn in this thing? We got to get rid of that thing. It's, it's, it's too much weight. Somebody take the horn out. Well, what we can do with this old girl is take her to a uh, racetrack. Now, we already did the Miami racetrack one, I believe, earlier. Let's try... Who else has a racetrack? Why is there nothing in Chicago? Do, 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 do the developers just hate on Chicago? Why would they put Chicago in the game if they're just going to leave Chicago empty? Is this... Is something broken on my end? What's going on here? Touring car Grand Prix at Sacramento. What's Where's Sacramento? Somewhere in between San Francisco and Seattle, clearly. Duh. Um, what's this one? Golden Hills Racetrack. Clearly all these have to be at racetracks because, you know, it wouldn't really work otherwise. 
We could do New York again, but we just did New York. I don't think we want to do New York again. There's only street racing going on in Detroit because, well, let's be honest, with Detroit's economics, they can't afford a racetrack. You know what? There's an easier way to do this. Discipline. Alpha Grand Prix. We have five. We have one in Golden Hills, one at the Giants, whatever that means. We got one at the Miami racetrack and one at jersey city racetrack new jersey i mean i guess the new jersey one is in new york but we did the last one in new york let's go out west see what this giants one is never mind we need to be 290 to go there maybe i should just let that decide so we can do golden hills we cannot do miami and we can do jersey city but since we already went to new york that leaves us with one option let's go do golden hills why not to purists like Clarence, Alpha Grand Prix is what pro racing always has been and always should be. They're wrong. It's been evolving since the very first lap. Yes, those old cars are classics, but they're not as fast or as safe as what we make today. Change is part of our tradition. Lady, shut up. I'm trying to hear the storyline. I showed up to a Grand Prix in my plane. That's how you know I have way too much money. $2,100. Oh, that's followers. I was like, that's nothing. Pornhub's not paying me well enough at all. <laughs> this thing is gonna be fun. We're going in first person. I hope that was first person. I have no idea. Our helmet looks pretty good in here and everything. We are not in first person. We were in first person. No, we are in first person now. Holy crap, we just flew to the front of the pack. I don't know what those guys are doing. Are they just, are they going for a practice lap or something? They don't want to put their foot down yet? Oh, it's just so grippy and so fast, taking a turn at 250 kilometers an hour. How did you catch up to me? And why are you going into me right now? These cars are fragile and worth a lot of money. Are you crazy? I need to be taking these corners a lot faster because um, you're saying faster than 250 kilometers per hour. You're insane. But tr trust me, these things are grippy. And I'm not saying that this necessarily is how it works in this game. But the faster you go, the hotter the tires and the more grippy you are in these kinds of vehicles. You gotta basically shut your brain off and say, I can take this corner at obscene speeds. Okay, too much speed, too much speed. But you get the idea, you get the idea. If the tires start smoking, they're too hot. They're too hot. You, the tires are like a Katy Perry song, you know? They're, they're hot, then they're cold. They're grip, then they're no grip. That's how the lyrics go, right? Ooh, coming out a little too wide on that corner. But hey, the old Pornhub Grand Prix F1 car is still maintaining the lead. Coming around the corner on the who knows what lap hits the halfway point. That's all I can tell you because there are no laps in this game. Only progression percentage. Oh, I just got passed by taking that way too slow. But it's no problem because apparently on the straights, these guys have bricks in their car. Oh my goodness. Maybe I'm just completely screwing up here. Oh, we got Nos. Forgot about that. See you later. Ooh, this is... I like racing in first person in F1 cars. This is... It, I'm into it. It's almost like a VR experience for a person who doesn't have VR. For those of you that can't afford obscene amounts of money to play pretty terrible games as VR pioneers itself and progresses into something playable and worth buying, you know what I mean? And the thing is, is when it becomes worth buying, VR is going to be cheaper because it'll be a more regular thing. So it's like kind of a win-win uh, waiting, but you know, if I was to make VR videos then I would need a VR headset. And um, please don't request VR videos, because I don't know if my wallet can take it. It must be nice to be a big YouTuber, 
and get VR headsets for free. I mean, games and stuff for free is one thing too, but like, to get full-on consoles and VR gear and, man, all that stuff for free? It must be nice. It must be real nice. But here's me just spending all of my hard-earned money. But we're coming into the final lap. The Pornhub F1 car is still maintaining the lead. He lost it for a bit there, John. But he managed to get it back on the straightaway using illegal nitrous. But the referees just weren't looking. There's referees in this, right? Jack of all trades. There it is. That's probably for completing a race in every discipline. Because we have officially done that. Oh yeah, and be sure to uh, check out my Pornhub, pornhub.com slash Wonka's Willy. So, here we go. On to what I assume. I mean, I was very wrong the last time, but what I assume is the final of the Live Extreme Series, Episode 5 to be exact. We now have the Grand Prix car, so we can now do Episode 5, and then I guess we can find out if there's an Episode 6. I mean, there could be. What is this? Beat the Duke Pro Racing in what I can only assume is Canada. But um, uh, let's do this, let's do this. S race five, episode five. Not gonna be fifth place. Oh, the Celine S7. Ooh, what a car to start out in. We're in upstate New York for race number five in the live extreme series. And boy, have we got a twist for you. He didn't say We're final race. show you some familiar territory in a whole new way. In a whole lot of speed. Hypercars, Grand Prix, jet sprint boats. That is like the fastest vehicles in the game. I mean, maybe, maybe the air race planes, but like other than that... These are, these are the fastest vehicles in the game. Well, drag cars, but do they count as the fastest vehicle if they can't even go around a corner? Live, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I also don't know if I, if I want to be on the inside. My Celine. You have to be a Ow, what the hell? The good news is, that is exactly what we have for you today. The People best. who drive Paganis are such douchebags. I hope you drive a Pagani who's listening, and if so, take me for a ride, you douchebag. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up sometimes. I know nobody's watching with the Pagani. We probably got one person watching who has a quote-unquote Pagani who likes to pretend not the treat. Okay, we need to get out of this I'm view. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that even if he's just in striking distance of the lead now, you're still watching our next champion. Me? Are you talking about me? I forgot this was the race that I'm supposed to, like, prove I can actually hang with the big boys, right? And here I am, well in last place, on windy roads in this boat of a hypercar, while everybody else has modern bullshit. Damn it. Where's a straightaway when you need it? Oh, maybe right here? They're heading across probably the stay on the course, the huh? The most modern cars in the world thundering their way across an antique. Now that's what I call a spectacle. Oh my god. I thought I was in fourth. When did I pass Donovan and when? how did he pass me? That distracted the hell out of me. Why are we doing this in the wet? In the forest? In million dollar hypercars. Oh god. Please. Please. Oh, there we go. The straightaway. You're all done now. The Celine is alive. The Celine, yes. The Celine wants to constantly be on top. Or just constantly moving forwards. Oh god. I haven't decided yet. Maybe it wants to kill me because it keeps going off road. And that can't be my terrible driving, because what terrible driving, you know what I mean? Only amazing driving from yours truly. Well now, at this yes. speed, our drivers will be taking a bite out of it in no time at all. Oh, uh -huh, I see what you did there. No. No. Oh, uh, come on, Celine. Make up for my terrible racing, please. Please. Man, racing in the wet right now is really 
messing me up. But I think that's just how this race level. is supposed to be. Okay, that's taking it to the next level, all right. Street racing Grand Prix cars in New York. I can't imagine New York has the best roads in the world for Grand Prix cars. But hey, what do I know? I'm not a New Yorker. I shouldn't be talking shit about your beautiful city. I mean, beautiful at night and beautiful if you don't get too close to the people that live there, you know? But it's um, beautiful still. Maybe don't smell it in certain areas either. You might just want to plug your nose a little bit. But hey! Well, that's something you don't get to see every day. I know it's probably wonderful there. In the heart of New York City. Also, no traffic at all. Ooh, that was a tight turn. It's a good thing I recognized that and really slowed down for it. It's a good thing the brakes on these things are amazing. I mean, the brakes are already amazing in this game. You can stop on a frickin' drop of a hat. You could stop. It's like that commercial with the, um, the camera that's supposed to detect if, like, a child runs out in the road and stop your car in time. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Who wants to lend me their kids so I can test it? If you want to, leave a, leave a comment. I'll arrange something where we can put your kid and get him to run out in front of the road and see if the car hits him or not. Think of it this way. If the kid gets hit, that's one less kid you have to care for, and you can sue the company for damages. So you're rich, you don't have a kid that's gonna eat up all the money that you just what a ride, inherited. And, gentlemen, what a ride. and, um, I mean, it seems like a win-win, and if it does work, then uh, maybe they'll pay us to do, like, a commercial or something. I mean, I'm a famous YouTuber, and famous YouTubers always get to do product stuff, right? I'm not... I'm not famous. What a harsh reality. This car would be absolutely destroyed running... I mean, most cars would be destroyed running into a lamppost, but this one especially would just be absolutely mangled. It's a good thing we got into these cars, though, because apparently I'm much better at racing this thing than the uh, Celine. I mean, when the Celine has a lot of straight lines, it does great. But when it doesn't have straight lines, it's, um... It takes a lot of, uh... Finesse. Round and round and round takes the Midas touch. Whoa! Round and round indeed. Not good. Good thing I had a lead there. Because, uh, that guy just jinxed the hell out of me. Holy gear shifts, though. How many gears does this vehicle have? I mean, who knows, I, I might have not been in first there coming out of that corner, I most likely wasn't. But I'm just trying to see how many gears this thing has, probably like seven or eight. Let's Doesn't matter now. Because I am gone. S Jet Sprint is my freaking jam. This is my, this is probably one of my top favorite, like, Besides the obvious ones, like obviously I like the drag racing, I like the drifting. This next section in Central Park has a lot of curves, and they're all tight ones. What a place to host oh God. the finest in jet sprint racing. What a place, folks. I almost missed that completely listening to him. Are we in Central Park? Is that what he just said? That's incredible. It's really cool how they like do that, how you're you're racing in the fountains and in uh, Vegas there, now you're racing through Central Park, like, oh boy, I like it. But anyway, yeah, this is definitely up there, I would say top five Just favorite discipline view, for sure. Cause our pilot sure can. I don't know if I can put it in top three, it's, it's a close call. I really do like the drifting and the drag racing in this, I mean I like it in most things. But they did an okay job with it, drag racing isn't the easiest thing to make fun because it, it's kind of boring in games. It's not, it's really hard to match real life drag racing and the feeling and the, the sloppiness of the car and like trying to control it as you're putting down that power and it wants to spin out and do everything in its power to kill you and you're just fighting it the whole way down the strip, banging gears. Like you could get the banging really gears feeling a little bit in this, but it's, I don't know, it's just not the same. But I really like these tight 
jet sprint races, and is that it? Once again, coming to you from New York. I guess that's it. That never Look sleeps. That. And who could sleep after the excitement we just witnessed? Not Thank me, you Jim. For Not in me. To the live extreme series episode five, and we'll see you one more time for the season finale. And I could really use some sleep with that crying baby at home. God damn. Don't be silly, kids. Wrap your willy. Child support and crying babies are no laughing matter. So is that it? Or is there more? There could be more still that I just haven't unlocked due to being too low of an icon level. That is definitely possible. It could be the last one. I feel like they would say it's the last one, but at the same time, maybe they wouldn't say it's the last one because then it leaves them open to adding more when they do DLCs and stuff. Well, either way, that, uh, that about wraps up the final live episode that we have access to and the final discipline that is in the game. Maybe they'll add more disciplines in future DLCs. Who knows? But if you guys want to see some of the rival one, uh, the rival races, some of the other races in this game, if you want to see any other vehicle from any of the disciplines, let me know in the comment section below because that's it, folks. If you guys enjoyed, you want to see more, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget, hey, like he said, visit Bobo the Clown. Take her easy. Make sure you hit that like button, because if you guys hit the like button for me, lots of good things happen, okay? And we can grow and do giveaways and, like, subscribe and all that good stuff, okay? Take a easy. <laughs>